The words thamarat and fakiha are translated in English into fruits, but their real meaning in Arabic is much more than just a single word, since there is more underlying and embedded meaning that cannot be translated into just a single word. First of all, the word thamarat. The singular form is thamara. It is a more general aspect than the word fakiha. In other words, every fakiha falls under the category of thamara, but not every thamara falls under the word fakiha. And in terms of in-depth meaning in Arabic, the word thamara refers to anything that is produced and picked up from trees and also from the ground. So potatoes is thamara, bananas, apples, cucumbers, all this falls under the category of thamar. But fakiha is the fruit that people eat for enjoyment, like bananas and peaches. So thamara is general, but fakiha is specific for the enjoyment of people. The interesting thing is that the word thamarat is mostly used to describe the fruits in this life, this dunya like what we see in these examples. وَمِن ثَمَرَاتِ النَّخِيلِ وَالْأَعْنَابِ تَتَّخِذُونَ مِنْهُ سَكَرًا وَرِزْقًا حَسَنًا فَأَخْرَجَ بِهِ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ رِزْقًا لَكُمْ However, when Allah describes the fruits in paradise, Allah uses the word fakiha in that context. Lahum fiha fakihatu wa lahum ma yadda'oon wa fakihatim mimma yatakhayyaroon as an emphasis and elaboration on the enjoyment that the inhabitants of Jannah will have. But that does not prevent the word fakiha to be used with the fruits in dunya that people eat for enjoyment as well. So in spite of the similarity between these two words, even in their translation, their connotation and their underlying meaning in Arabic shows the precise use of these two words in the Quran. Thanks for watching. If you want to start your journey with learning the Quran at any level, start right here to know which is the most suitable route for you. Or you could keep learning by clicking on this lesson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.